In this video, I'm going to show you two quick and easy ways to make a denim pattern for your Illustrator flats. Now, in order to make the pattern fill, we're going to go into Photoshop. So I'm going to open Photoshop and we're going to make a new file that is two inches by two inches. So I like to start by clicking on print. That way I get a 300 resolution. And I'm going to make this two inches by two inches because we don't really need a very big swatch to bring into Illustrator. Make sure it's 300 resolution, RGB, and click Create. All right, here's our file. I'm going to pick uh, a nice denim blue for my foreground color, kind of a nice dark denim blue, and fill my page with it. And the shortcut for that was Alt or Option Backspace. And then I'm going to swap my colors and pick a nice kind of lighter blue for my foreground color. And now we can start. We're going to go Filter, Filter Gallery, Sketch, Half Tone Pattern, and we're going to use the default size of 1 and 5 and make sure that it's set to Dot Pattern. Click OK. Now we're going to go Filter, Stylize, Diffuse. And in Diffuse, we have actually three choices. We have Normal, Dark, and Light Denim options. So let's go with the Normal option for now. Click OK. To bring it into Illustrator, we're going to double click on the background layer and just click OK so it's a layer zero. And now we can make it just a little bit bigger because I don't want these edges. So we're going to Control T for transform and then pull one of the corners holding both the Alt and the Shift key just to make it slightly bigger than the page. Click OK. And now we can select that, copy it, Control C, go to Illustrator and paste it, Control V. Let's go back into Photoshop and I'm going to show you one other way of doing it and then we'll apply it in Illustrator. So another way we can do this is make a new layer and again we're going to fill this with the dark blue and that's Control or Command Backspace. And we're going to start the same way. Filter, Filter Gallery, Halftone Pattern, and again, Size 1, Contrast 5, Dot Pattern, click OK. Now we're going to go back to Filter Gallery again. We're going to go to Artistic and select Smudge Stick. And the settings we want for smudge stick, uh, the default length I think is 2, so that's fine. Highlight area is 0, and bring the intensity all the way up to 10. This gives us a little bit of a weave pattern in the denim. Kind of looks like a twill. Click OK. Now you see sort of a twill denim, but I think it looks a little bit blurry. So the thing I do to crisp it up a little bit is to go back to filter, noise, add noise. Now it's really important anytime you add noise that you make sure it's monochromatic. If not, you add all these additional colors in here that we don't want. So monochromatic, I've got it on Gaussian, and I don't have it up very high. You don't want to go crazy with it. Keep it in around the 8 range. That works pretty nicely. Uh, or 6, somewhere around there. I want to make sure that I still see the weave in here. So in this case, actually this looks pretty good at 6.3 click OK. And we're going to do the same thing. Control or Command T to transform. Make it just a little bit bigger. Check. And now I'm going to select it. Copy. And we can go to Illustrator and paste. Now that I have my two pattern swatches in Illustrator, let's make repeat patterns out of them. So we're going to go up to Window and open the Swatches panel. And all you need to do is grab your swatch and drag it in. So there's one, and now I can delete that. And I'll take this one and drag it into my swatches. So now you can see I have my two denim swatches here. We're going to hit delete for this one. And now I can go ahead and fill with them. So I'm going to grab the white arrow and select this, and we'll fill with the first pattern. And I'll do the same on this one. Let's grab the pockets too and fill with the second pattern. And there you see two different types of denim. This one's a little more all over, random, non-directional. This one is a little more directional with kind of a twill weave in it. That's the way you do it. If you like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And for more courses on Adobe for Fashion, visit lynda.com and type in fashion design.